What are you nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And this is the first bunch of kitties and Asagiri. And today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Kingdom Chapter 738. So before we get into this recap and live reaction, let's just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking, so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our cash up and PayPal links are in the description box below. So, well, 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 right, keys? Well, 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 well. Um, we saw the poisoning of Sekire. And, um, it is getting real, right, cat? It's getting real, right, cat? Oh, look at the keys. It's not looking good. Not in this hood. Ah, but all of us think they're going to get conky. Fine. Let's see what they can do here. <laughs> uh, let's see what's in store for us this week. Kitty chill. Damn, you sure that's what you saw? Positive. It's it's vexing, but the flags being raised are those of Zhao. Damn, it's three then. Damn. Um, the news wafts into the dark dawn sky. Let's head out. Zhao soldiers will be here soon. Hurry. And this chapter is titled Conky's Head. Oh boy. Gian and meanwhile, Gian, what's wrong, Ten? The, the, there's three. We sent scouts to um, check out how Sekirei was doing and told them to use the uh, smoke signals because they may be inter intercepted by um, the cage on their way back to Gion. Smoke signals? Ah, over there! And so, uh, and so, one signal would mean that Sekirei is still safe. But we told them to send three signals if it had fallen to Zhao. Eh? The three? Which means that Sekirei has been recaptured by Zhao. Damn it! Damn it! Oh, that can't be! And so that means that there is no need to send armies to Sekirei anymore, and Roboku can amass his forces to strike at us here. That guy is the worst. So that means this is all over, um, right? Kokuo, boss, let's di ditch the rest and leave, uh, leave just us. <laughs> There's nowhere to go. It's not over. The situation has gotten worse, but our hopes are uh, unchanged. The reinforcements run back home until that army shows up. we got to just fight it out. Sikaki's like, yeah, same page. King Capital Kanyo. <gasps> There's still no word on Kaki's movements? Sir, a messenger arrived from the east earlier, but the reports are still unclear. They advanced all the way to Sekirei without a fight, and just as they set forth from there, Zhao armies appeared at the, at the border and closed off the flow of information. This is a normal uh, show we can. Exactly. Even with armies blocking the way, it should be simple enough for our scouts to skirt them and um, enter Zhao. The fact that they cannot is simply... That's true. According to the reports, um, several units did manage to penetrate their lines, but none have returned. What did you say? Show we can. This feels very ominous, for the flow of information from Northern Zhao to be truly uh, so restricted, a considerable amount of preparation would have been necessary. Moreover, if the one masterminding this is Roboku... Hmm, I as well. Last night, when the information about Konki's army was cut off, I also began considering that possibility. To what extent do they prepare for, their, uh, for our arrival? Atsuyo, uh, Romao, because of the, these two castles, our attack on Gion started uh, with less than half of our planned forces. What? What do you mean, Shoikan? I'm saying we may have been lured into a trap. We, no, I may have looked down on Roboku far too much. Motherfucker, are you for real? I'm going to say this. Konki was going to go into that trap no matter what. He does not give a fuck. He was going to go in there because of, he was going to do what he needed to be done so Osin could go in there. Uh, go and needed to be done. But, Muffle, why would you think, why would you look down on Revoku like this? Why? In that case, we must send reinforcements immediately. The Konki army could be helplessly encircled uh, by the Zhao army as we speak. Please wait a moment. We have reports that a considerable um, number of enemy forces are deployed throughout northern Zhao, penetrating into it to rescue the Konki army if um, it even needs rescuing um, 
could require as many as 100,000 soldiers. Whoa, 100,000? He could have an army that size in not much time, but if the Konki army is in danger now, they won't make it in time. I sent a message to General Ozen and Atsio to swiftly send reinforcements to Konki if he is in peril. Thank you, Soma remembers Osin is there. That's right, General Osin is there. Atsio is our front line against Northern Zhao. He can reach them far faster than we ever could. God, I'm getting tired. It's been a long ass day. Do we have reports of Atsio making any moves? No, none so far. What do you mean? Even though we're, you know, if we here in Kanye were panicking, General Osin isn't mobilizing at all? What do you think, kitties? They should be mobilizing then, huh? Um, is it possible that General Ossin is able to observe the movements of the Conky army? And surmise there's no need for reinforcements? Oh, that could be. However, it is, um, it's also possible that he wants to send reinforcements, but the situation doesn't allow for that, huh? Shoikan, I'm sure you understand that Conky is no longer a mere general. He's one of the six great generals of the pride of Kin. In other words, a symbol of Kin's martial prowess. If he is killed, defeated or killed, our fighting spirit will take a massive hit, while Zhao and the other kingdoms will regain their vigor. I don't need to be reminded of that. For now, I will send another messenger uh, to Ozen and Atsio. I will also dispatch our um, orders to our uh, lands um, nearest to northern south for them to rouse an army and be ready uh, to move at a moment's notice. Approve. Make haste. Um, Shubakun, send a message to Taigen. Tell them to, um, we know they are being watched closely by Romao, but to try and find a way to, uh, of moving to Konki's aid. Sire! Master Shi, you have a lot of influence in Taigen. Can I entrust you with this? Leave it to me. Oh, please tell me you're all right, Shin. Atsio. Speaking of... Atsio, the situation has changed. Um, the movements of Konki's army are unclear. Nearly all the, our scouts' attempts to infiltrate Northern Zhao have been thwarted, and of those that have entered, not a single one has returned. Damn, Revoku. <laughs> Lord Osen, grant me an army of 10,000 men. I will punch a hole through the outer formations of the Zhao army, observe the situation in there, and then report back. The Konki army had 140,000 men, and they very uh, well may have been trapped to the last man. You think 10,000 will make them ba um, break a sweat? Fine, I'll take 50,000 then. <laughs> Suo! Be seated, Suo. Why? Um, why do we not go to reinforce them? Is it not evident that the Konki army has been entrapped? If we don't hurry, uh, we truly will be too late. Were we to make a move, we would have, um, we would first have to attack Romao. The enemy that attacked the army from Taigen? And we would, um, would also need to confirm, um, the makeup of the army in Hango. Hango? The castle west of Gion? There's also an army there? Schemes deployed throughout Northern Zhao are far deeper than what is apparent right now. Eh? I had felt something disquieting for some time, but for it to be this vast, will we look down too much on this man called Roboku? Oh no! If Konki dies, we'll be pissed. Come on, man. Report! The scattered remnants of the Konki army show no signs of gathering under Konki at Gion. Uh, seems like the Konki army really doesn't have any loyalty or military discipline. Dude, they're already fucking very dumbasses. Even during the battle with Kochao, they ran away the moment um, they uh, heard they were outnumbered. Motherfucker, you are... This is why I'm like, they better not be taking Konki's head, because bitch. Konki, Konki thrives in this fuckery. He loves this shit. Even then, um... The Konki army has consistently been victorious. If we are negligent, they will sweep our feet out from under us. I get that, but it's impossible for them to turn the tides in this situation. Dude. Motherfucker. He turns the impossible into possible. Um, not when they're pinned- Not when they're pinned like this. Bitch, they were pinned the other time too, you dumbass. What are you talking about? Konki is a man- See? Konki is a man that is in time to military strategy and Fights only using his natural insight. In all honesty, I thought he might be a difficult opponent for Lord Roboku, but... <laughs> it was a crushing victory after all. Nah, not yet. Get the head first and then we could talk. Some small-time former uh, thief has no chance of beating Lord Roboku. What are you talking about? You beat Roboku, what, like twice? You say that now, but you got super worried when you heard Konki was coming here. <laughs> Whatever. 
um, whatever will I do if Lord Boku loses? What if he gets hurt or worse? Uh, I wasn't worried. <laughs> <laughs> Liar. Myself as well. I thought if I ever lost Bally enough that I could lose my life, it would be because Conky was my opponent. See? They know. Eh? Conky's way of fighting is something I absolutely, absolutely cannot do, see? Roboku knows. He knows on, He knows not to underestimate Conky. You motherfuckers are stupid, Con but Roboku understands. He's like, Conky is a wild card. I don't want to fuck with that. That is, the enemy army, his own soldiers, and even the common folk with no part to play in these wars, he mercil mercilessly kills anything and anyone. I cannot win the way Conky went at Kokyo. Bitch, that's not- you missed the point! No, it's not the way he just kills, it's everything else! It's despicable. However, this time, Conky's cruelty has turned into a noose about uh, his own neck. After Conky beheaded 100,000 men last year, Zhao resolved to go above and beyond to repel Kin, uh, Kin and Conky. Sekirai even brought poison into their own city wells uh, in order to strike at him. And Conky has let head first into these lands. Dude, that's because Conky loves danger. Like, what the fuck do you want? At Kokuyo, when I observed Conky's cruelty firsthand, I came to a scathing conclusion. Above all else, this man cannot be allowed to live for long. I've also been waiting expectantly for this day. It's been a whole four years since Kokuyo, but thanks to that, we can't we can hurt the six generals as a bonus. Exactly. We cannot begin to calculate the effects of the over, um, of overwhelmingly crushing Conky, the best known of the six generals, and taking his head. All of Kim will go pale without Question. Lord Roboku, up ahead. All right, about time we get back to our post. Lord Roboku. Conky, I won't make light of your abilities. I don't expect this battle to end cleanly. However, I will not be letting you escape from here. I fully expected Osin, ca uh, cautious as he is, to smell a trap in Northern Zhao and stay away. Oh, but I knew you would come. It's your head I've been after from the start, Conky. I would completely re see how much you want to bet that Conky knew this shit too. That's what, bitch. You were just you did you not understand that Conky is not a dumbass and he knows this and he probably did this on purpose. You are falling into his fucking trap, you dumbass. Oh my god, Conky is doing this shit on purpose. You all know he's doing this shit on purpose. If you don't know that he's doing this shit on purpose, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you. You're doing this shit on purpose because of the same thing that happened in the previous fight. Or the previous battle. It's because he is... He is the distraction. What he's doing is he's making... He's bringing everyone over to him so uh, Osin can do what needs to be done. And so the battle can be won. And because remember what he said to Mare and what they were doing. It's all about what we're doing is wasting the time and energy. Right, kitties? Right, cat? You like to waste time and energy too, huh? <laughs> I, um, I will completely reverse the momentum for both Kin and Zhao during this battle. And I'll enact this change with your blood as a catalyst. Now then, Conky. This is the end. Oh, you wish. Close up any gaps in the cage. The southern units are in position. The northern units appear to um, have completed their preparations. Dude, I don't believe that shit. No. If Conky dies, I will be pissed, but I don't believe it. Conky oh, has something up his sleeve. When the, when the chips sit down, Conky always does something. Roboku and... You know the reason why Osin said the shit that he did, right? Because Osin is very traditional when it comes to his battle strategies. So is Roboku. You motherfuckers are stupid. You are still taking a traditional route with this in terms of tactics. And you, Kanki also has the Saki clan there. The Saki clan don't take no prisoners either. You guys are fucked. You guys are stupid. You might, you might think you have Conky right now, but again, if Conky dies here, I will eat crow. But right now, I don't believe that they're going to take him. I mean, Con I I'm going to go back to looking at Conky as uh, this is happening. Conky's smiling. He, look at that face. He's like, yeah. 
Like, I knew you motherfuckers would come. It's time. It's time to fuck you up. And it's also time for Osin to make his move as well. Because, why? Because he is, but what are they supposed to do? They're supposed to wait these bitches, waste these bitches' time and energy. Think about it. Look at, look, everyone is coming for Conky. You're doing the one, you're doing the shit that he wants you to do. You're all coming for him. Now Osa could go do what needs to be done. <laughs> you guys are so stupid. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. Do you guys think this is all going according to Conky's plan? Like I do. I think it is because I just keep thinking that of what he said to Marin, And not just that, the, but what happened in the previous fight. Um, and um, everyone is saying that, oh, we underestimated Roboku. I'm like, bitch, these motherfuckers underestimate Conky. <laughs> I know Osin's being cautious as hell. I don't blame Osin for being cautious. But the other thing I can't help but think about as well, and this is why, uh, like, I can't help but think, compare this to, uh, to Konki as well, is uh, Kaiju number 8, um, Monster number 10, but Mon and uh, Hoshina. Because Monster number 10, just like Konki, he's like, I'm just going to dive in and go fuck motherfuckers up. And Osin being like Hoshina, who was very calculating. And, yeah, sometimes that will backfire. But when you balance it out, which Osin will do from time to time, it works. So, and Roboku is like Hoshina a lot, so, but more calculating than anything else. But anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. Love what we're doing, and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking, so we can keep bringing you more Kingdom content. A few ways you could do that. Donate to our cash app, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off at Amazon, which list all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.